Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our quick oracle messages from Spirit. This week we're going to focus in a little more on life purpose. So, let's see what's coming out for my Pisces. Your blessing this week. A blessing on the senses. Ooh, I love this card. That gift the world to you. Oh my gosh. Ooh, a blessing on the senses that gift the world to you. Look at all the honey and the sweetness just dripping. Oh, this is your week to step into uh, some serious abundance. <laughs> yes, in the sweetness of life. Are you going to be there? Savor it. Enjoy it. Oh, my goodness. This is a good, good week. Um, new things that are going to awaken our senses up and feel, make us feel alive. But think abundance also gonna be sweet this week Pisces yes let's see our life purpose what we what we need to know about life purpose right now oh we have study reading research and education will help you gain confidence and clarity about your career Ooh, research study education oh, oh, gaining the confidence and the clarity that you need. Wow. The wisdom. The owl. I love that card. Next one we have. Let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. Mm. So right now our life purpose in this in this moment, guys. Uh, focus in on this card. Because <laughs> there's something else that has uh, had our attention that we've been Worrying over, stressing over, and we're being told, let it go. Walk away from it and watch how quick it will resolve itself. Oh, yes. And start wakening up your senses to the sweet stuff in life that you really want. Because that's a card of abundance, but it's also about savoring um, with your senses, uh, the sweetness in life, the beauty in life to really re revitalize yourself and feel that vitality in yourself again. Let's see what our challenges are. Ooh, we got an extra card than everybody else. Number three, blossoming abundance. Oh my gosh. Pisces, we really are. The, this is our challenge, though, guys. This card, it shows up when you're stepping into some heavy-duty abundance and what you find feel is very valuable. <laughs> yes. It's like, yeah, opening the door to Garden of Eden. Our next one, we have First Chakra, Archangel Michael. Our first chakra is about feeling stable and secure. Stability makes us feel safe like like we can survive so we got archangel michael coming in for us this week on that first chakra Ooh, hang on to it oh we're getting another one third chakra archangel archangel uh shamuel ow the <laughs> First and third chakra. This one is about this card right here, savoring the sweetness. The life force, the chi that spins and turns inside of you uh, is being woken up for you this week. Wow. Let's see what the fourth one was, that jumper that come. Because I would be like, I would be clueless as, what is your challenge this week? Other than you're going to be overwhelmed with a lot of beauty, sweetness in life, and vitality. Feeling like you're feeling more stable and secure in what you're doing. <laughs> See, I don't know what the challenge is. Oh, there it is, y'all. God, sorry. Broken heart. The thing about this card, guys, is this card isn't telling us our heart's getting broke this week. No, because the heart is actually mended over halfway it's only broke down into here at this bottom part so it's saying that we have been going through a healing process we're right at the end of that healing process and that might be our let go let go let it go walk away from the situation in order to resolve it walk away from it to finish healing the heart the challenge is, is that you don't let this, this broken heart that's still mending, 
yet in the way of all this sweetness and abundance and vitality and life coming back to you this week. That can stop it for sure. You can block your own blessing. That's your challenge this week is to step into the energy to the to what the universe and your higher self, the divine, is pouring into you this week that's going to reawaken your senses to make you feel more grounded, safe, secure, like I've got this. And like I said, a big thing, we're being told to let this go. It's had our attention for a while, whatever it is, whatever that heartache is. It's, you know, it's different from all, for all of us. We've been focused on it too long. We need to let it go. Redirect your energy over here to get your confidence and your clarity. Reading, research, and education help build your confidence and clarity. So, let's see our lessons this week, my Pisces. First one, we've got health. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my body. Yes, our health. Overall health, too, because, you know, think holistically when uh, mind, body, and spirit. If one thing's off, they're all off. So, yeah. Next one, pride. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. Love yourself. Take some pride in yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one of our lessons. And then we have, oh, loneliness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The broken heart. I know that I am never alone. You're never alone, my Pisces. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling alone, I'm hearting you some energies right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't say, I'll pray for you. I say, I'm hearting for you. Not hurting. Hearting. I'm hearting you some energy, some love, because we're all connected. We're all together on a different realm. We this is our vacation from feeling the oneness, the lack of privacy, uh, to be in the physical body. You're never alone. Never. Universe has your back. Yes, it does. Let's jump into your personal moon phases. Mm -hmm. First one. I love it. Full moon in Capricorn. This has come full circle. That heartbreak. Let it go. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Mm -hmm. Let it go, let it go, and let the universe bless you with new life, new vitality, the sweetness and the beauty of life. Let that light come back into into your life. The next one, a waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. Do you remember your dreams? Yes. What was the dreams you had? Because we're being told focus on it. Come away from the broken heart. And then we have first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Yes, it is. Are you committed to yourself, to loving yourself, to honoring yourself? It's evident that something happened where we don't feel like we were honored, loved, and cherished. Mm -hmm. Honor and love and cherish yourself right now. Do what's best for you. Health-wise, you're never alone. First quarter main, your commitment to yourself is being tested. The next card is for any area of life you need it. We have four pentacles. If you hold on too tightly out of fear of losing what you already have, you'll never be open to the beauty of the new, the beauty, the sweetness of the new. Remove the guard around your heart and shift out of scarcity mindset to allow your dreams to fully manifest. To fully manifest. Our next one is for any relationship that you need it. This week I'm being reminded to remind everyone that when I say relationship, it doesn't always mean relationship to other people. It can be the relationship to yourself. It could also be advice for your relationship to things like job, career, or your relationship to money. Keep an open mind when, it's, when I say relationship. Eight of Wands. Your relationship is picking up momentum, either in communication, 
commitment, or physical partnership. Allow yourself to go with the flow and see where it leads. Our message is this week I've added two messages for everyone from the universe and then we'll get the spirit from the universe. Believe in yourself. Believe in the beautiful divine you. Shine brightly. Love generously. And share your sacred voice. Share your sacred voice. Ooh, I love that Pisces. How you choose to love regardless of love being returned is your gift. To love without condition, without expectations. To love in silence and in solitude. To love in happiness and in hope. That is the very heart of who you are. Oh my God, that was, that card was written for my Pisces. Yes, it was. I'm going to cry, y'all. Mm. First message from Spirit. Oh, love yourself through this. Love yourself through this. Continue, continue your spiritual studies. Continue your spiritual studies. Have faith. Have faith. Feed your joy. Feed your joy. The sweetness and beauty of life is coming back to you this week. Feed that joy. Trust all. Trust that all will be revealed. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Walk away from it. You'll be really surprised how quick it resolves. <laughs> yes. The last one. Your world is about to transform. Yes, it is, my Pisces. Oh. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings for a beautiful and blessed week ahead. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.